Thomas, what is a man? I feel that you're not born a man, you become a man. However, I, I also do feel that I was born biologically male up in my brain. So it's what's in my head? Yes. When I wake up in the morning, I feel like a man. You make a great many people very uneasy. Why is that? Here is a man with facial hair, with a mustache, with scars under his breasts, pregnant. It is a disturbing picture, Thomas. I think that people are not used to seeing the image of a pregnant man. And um, it's causing a lot of people to think. You know, Thomas, that there are people who say that just because you've taken testosterone, cut your hair short, had your breasts removed, that doesn't make you a man. You have a woman's reproductive organs. Therefore, they say, you are a woman. I used my female reproductive organs to become a father. Aren't you trying to have it both ways? <laughs> well, first of all, what would be wrong with that? I'm not trying to change people's minds. I'm just asking them to open them. Joining us now is Thomas Beatty, the pregnant man, and his wife, Nancy. He gave birth in July to the couple's first child, and they're expecting again. His new book, Labor of Love, the story of one man's extraordinary pregnancy, there you see its cover on coming up, is in uh, bookstores right now. And his family's fascinating story will debut tomorrow night on Discovery Health. Thomas and Nancy, welcome. Congratulations. How's it going? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Were you surprised at all this attention, or did you expect it? Honestly, we are quite surprised. Um, we naively thought that we were going to be able to get away with um, me giving birth without anyone knowing. <laughs> Who picked it up? Well, in the beginning, see, we pretended like I was pregnant. Who picked the story up? Who, who got it out? Well, this is what happened. I got pregnant with my first pregnancy, and it ended up in an ectopic pregnancy. And so there were about 100 medical professionals in Bend, Oregon, who knew about our situation, and the word was getting back to us. So we figured, well, we, we had experienced some medical discrimination, and we had some legal questions about what's our baby's birth certificate going to say, is our marriage going to be okay? And so I wrote a, an article in the Advocate magazine, which is a national gay and lesbian yeah. magazine. And, and that was That, that was, was that. it. <laughs> we, were, we were looking for right. help. Let's break it down so we understand the story. You were a woman, right? You were a woman. You now call yourself a man. You were born female. How did you two meet? We met um, at Almost a gym. Almost 18 years ago at a gym <laughs> in at Hawaii. Gym. 18 years ago? Almost 18 years ago. How long have you been together? 11, going on 12. Yep, going, going on 11, right. and we've been married for going on 6. Did you, obviously, you look like a man. You are a man. Did you go through surgeries? I had chest reconstruction surgery, and I've had hormone treatment. So you, you are a man, right, to yourself? Yes. Okay. How how the idea come about to, that he, she should get pregnant? Well, we we both wanted to start a family, and I had well, a hysterectomy. Well, oh. I had a hysterectomy, so um, we thought about adopting and all these other options, but who better to carry our baby but him? So how did it? How was it done? Well, um, we had to get, we got a donor, and we did it at home. I did it. You did it. Mm. The donor devoted donates the sperm. Right. We ordered the sperm, and you then put it came the sperm to our in house. What, in a capsule. I put it in a, a, a syringe without a needle. And injected it. Yes. So you never had any work done in the lower parts that no. would change that part. Just okay. from what testosterone does naturally. Uh huh. Was, did, he get reg, did, did he get pregnant right out of the box? Right, yeah, basically. basically. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to do more shots? Nope. No, she's good. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I did it again. How did you know? Yeah, you did it. He's pregnant now, mm -hmm. right? How did you know where, how to do that? We had to actually look that stuff up online because we had a difficult time finding a physician to help us. We found a physician to finally sign for um, a sperm bank, and, and that's how we could do it at home. But we did look the stuff up online. Why would a physician not help you? That's a good question. Uh, we had a lot of trouble. I think some of it was, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, religion. You know. Um, but does the state, the state's supposed to be separate from religion, right? Absolutely. The, our first fertility endocrinologist said he didn't feel comfortable working with someone like me. Why didn't you adopt? 
Why would you date. say that to somebody else that was yeah, going to have a family? There, there a lot of people I've asked, why don't you adopt? That's a viable option, and we did consider it. We, I have a very real need to pass down my genes, and so we were going to try that, that first, and then you know look into surrogacy. But we would have had a lot of problems with surrogacy because we'd need a fertility endocrinologist to help out. And you couldn't have gotten an adoption through the legal adoption ways other people adopt, do you think? Oh, I'm sure we probably could have. Sure. Maybe not with some of society. We wouldn't have our baby. So legally, what are you now? In Oregon, are you married? Yes. We are legally married. We got legally married in the state of Hawaii, and because of the full faith and credit clause, our marriage is accepted across the country. Okay, so you're completely legal. Yes. Insurance, all the other things Absolutely. are covered, right? Yes. You don't I have, have health any... insurance as mail, um, passport, life insurance policy, license. birth certificate, marriage driver's certificate, license. driver's license, social security, everything.